All right, guys, we're going to go over uh, dihybrid crosses today. So let's talk about, here we have our capital B equals brown fur, our little b equals white fur. Now we're adding in a second trait because dihybrid is di for two, so we're crossing two separate traits. So capital R is going to be black eyes, little r is going to be red eyes. So notice here we have parent one, here we have parent two, and now our Punnett square has 16 boxes instead of four. And then we'll have to figure out our phenotypes. Now we would have options of brown fur with black eyes, brown fur with red eyes, white fur with black eyes, or white fur with red eyes. So let's figure out what our allele combinations will be on the top and the side. So we're going to start with parent one. So we're going to start with our capital B. Our capital B has to go with each one of the letters. So we're going to go capital B to capital R and then we're going to write that in our first, on top of our first box. So now our capital B, we're still with our capital B, we'll go with our little r. So we're going to put that in on top of the next box. Now our capital B is done. We don't need him anymore. His alleles have already been distributed. So now we're going to focus on our little b to our big R, and we'll write him on the next one. And then we'll do our little v to our little r. So parent one is officially done. Their alleles have been distributed. Now we're going to work on parent two. We'll do the same thing. So we'll start with our first letter. Capital B goes to capital R. Capital B to little r. First letter oops, is done. So now we'll work on little b to big r. And then little b to little r. Okay, so we've done our allele combinations, now we have to fill in our boxes. And the way to do that is we want to make sure that we're going to bring both our B's over. So we got big B, big B, big R, big R. And we're going to do that for each box. And since we have, we're putting our B's first because up here we had our B's first. And remember, the capital B always comes before the little b. The capital R will always come before the little r. We fill in our next box. And we're just going to go down the line, filling these in. We've got big R, big R, big B, little b, big R, little r. So we go to the next row. Always put the capital letter first since we have a big B here and a little B here. Capital B comes first. Same thing with our R's. So I put a little B over, capital R, capital R. Got a big B up here, so I'm going to bring him down. Little B comes over. Capital R comes over, little r comes down. So now we have little b, little b, big R, big R. And we still have to have our b's first, even though they're lowercase, because that was the first trait given. So we have two little b's, little b, little b, big R, little r. And we do our last row. So 
going to start with little B, little B. And then our last box is all lowercase. Now that we have them filled in, now we have the hard part of counting how many phenotypes that we have. And remember, we're doing two phenotypes at once. We're doing brown fur plus black eyes. So if we go back up here, we see brown fur has a capital B, black eyes has a capital R. So anything that has a capital B, capital R, would be that phenotype combination because capital B and capital R are both dominant and they would both be expressed. So let's go through. I'm going to pick a different color. So we've got a capital B. Capital R, capital B, capital R, capital B, capital R, capital B, capital R. Even though this has a capital B, it has a lower, two lowercase r, so they would have red eyes. Capital B, capital R, same thing here. Okay, so we've, we marked the ones that were both. Uh, brown fur with black eyes. Now let's go back and count. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, so anything that has a capital B plus two little R's would be brown for red eyes. So let's get a different color. So we got capital B, two little R's. Capital B, two little R's. Those are lowercase. Those are lowercase. Capital B, two little R's. So we ended up with one, two, three. Three that are brown fur with red eyes. So our next combination is white fur with black eyes. And we know white fur is two little b's. Black eyes is a capital R. So we have to have two little b's in order to show white fur and only one capital R to show black eyes. So with that, we have one two, three. And then our last and lonely one is this guy who is recessive for both traits. It would be white fur and red eyes. Okay, so that would be a dihybrid cross because we're crossing two traits, two different alleles. So let's try one more problem. Try this one on your own. So if you would pause the video Try it on your own, and then as you're trying it, I'm going to fill it out, and then you can compare your answers to mine.
So we've got one that has black fur with red, or black, brown fur with black eyes. So if we go through and we count, we ended up with one, two, three, four. So if we go through, we need to find brown fur with red eyes. We know red eyes is two little R's. We've got one, two, three, four. Our white fur with black eyes. We know white fur is two little B's and a capital R. We got one, two, three, four. And then our last would be four that have white fur and red eyes. And if we counted up our total, we have four plus four is eight, plus four plus four is 16. And that is how you do a dye hybrid cross.